All right, guys, this is a request uh, from many people who are asking questions about the blue tongue. Why don't we sell methylene blue in a liquid or a pill form? So liquids are very difficult to work with. They're messy and very difficult to dose. Most of the liquids that we tested on the market did not meet their label claim, meaning that they were much less potent than what they said to be on the label. And it's often that we get the response from our customers that they took, let's say, four milligrams of our methylene blue compared to four milligrams in some sort of dropper. And ours was much stronger, much more effective because it was actually the dose that we have on the label. Liquid also deteriorates faster and it gets everywhere. Trochies were designed to be precision dosed so you know how much you're getting every single time. You can titrate your dose. You can start off with a quarter, with a half, or a full, and find the dose that's right for you. I can't tell you how many people over the last several months have asked me, Doc, I'm taking 20 drops a day. Is that enough? And I go, I have no clue. I mean, since he just answered the question in many different ways, what would you like to add, Ted? Nothing. <laughs> I, I reemphasize, like, like he said. <laughs> yeah, exactly what he said. But I want to reemphasize the degradation point. We have tested a, a lot of liquids on the market, and we know through transportation and various uh, ways in which we bought methylene blue in the past that degradation is a key factor that you have to think about in your delivery mechanism. Uh, liquids, especially when exposed to light, appear to degrade faster. A lot of people that have come up to us at conferences thank us for doing trochies because they are tired of taking capsules. Some people just don't like swallowing them. And the troche offers an alternative delivery mechanism. It also allows you to titrate, which I think is what Scott was going to talk about next. Or... And there's no first pass effect yes. on the liver. So let's, let's go first into the titration part. Yeah, so titration is really important. And what we found is that everybody has a slightly different dose that's going to be most optimal for them. And the problem with capsules is that it's one dose and you don't have really any ability to titrate that at all. If you're taking capsules apart and trying to take out powder, especially methylene blue, good luck not getting it all over your kitchen. I've almost been divorced twice, I think, because of methylene blue in my kitchen and my laundry and those places. But you just don't want to do that, right? It's really difficult to dose it. What we did here at Transcriptions is that you can swallow our trochies. That's okay. But you know exactly how much you're getting. And they're easy to titrate. So you start off with four or eight milligrams and you titrate to what you need. I would say on the uh, sinks thing, I have replaced my toilet seats a couple of times. You can do one of two things. Buy a toilet that matches the color of methylene blue. Or a black toilet. Buy a black toilet. Or, like I do, have spare toilet seats because toilet seats are easy to replace. One other thing there is that I found if you have buffered vitamin C at the house, you can scrub out surfaces very quickly with it, and it does work. So that has saved my marriage. And I've bought stock in Bemis. 